Okay, here with Peninsula Catholic head basketball coach Trevor Dorsey. His team wins the Norfolk State University basketball team camp here. Coach, it's August 24 teams here. A year ago, we were all wondering if you play basketball. Your squad has won championships before, including the Fall League over there, the Ben Moore Fall League at Boot Williams. But to win this against the competition, even some out-of-state teams, you had to be proud of how this group has grown before your very eyes. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm very proud. Uh, we were actually two or three kids short coming in, so it was a great time to get young kids some playing time. Uh, we had to fight, fight through what I think is the toughest bracket. I mean, we played a really good uh, Big Shots AAU team this morning. Played Quality Academy from New Jersey, and they're tough. Um, we just found a way. We found a way all summer, so I hope it continues. I know you have some new faces, but also some returning faces. But right. for this program, just talk about the culture and what you're trying to build. And, and Because a few years ago, if someone said Peninsula Catholic can beat a Maury, a right, state right, champion right, in a right. championship game. They would have said, they would have snickered said, no, it's not possible. But your, your group expects to win now, and I think people now know that you guys can compete with some of the best. Yeah, and that's been our goal from day one since I took over, um, where we started to where we've come from now. I think we finally turned that corner, and, and everybody kind of knows that we're formidable. I mean, our expectation this year, if I'm honest, is state championship. Mm -hmm. you know, we're not going to be satisfied unless we win a state championship. Uh, that's why we do this stuff in the summer and play these teams, go out of town. Uh, that's why our schedule is going to be what it is this year. Everything because our goal at the end is to be in Petersburg or wherever they have the finals this year. Uh, we expect to be there, and I think I think the 757 is finally taking notice. Yeah, and I think that's a change from, say, a couple years ago where you were thinking, let's compete with the best in the right. TCIS and some around the right. area. Now it's like we compete with the TCIS to win it Absolutely. and the state. And some of that has to do with the guys you have that have experience, like your Styles Gardner, your Chris right. Brown, your Trevon Gray. I think they all were about the same in scoring. Very balanced throughout the weekend with those three guys, right? Yeah, and so those three guys, those are my guys, man. It's their third year coming in with me. All three very good players. All three are playing at the next level, and they kind of understand what we're about now. So when we do get new kids in, I don't have—it's not me yeah. doing the teaching. We got leaders on the team, and as you can see today, it can be any one of them at any time to really carry us. And when you add that to the talent and the size, this is the first time we've had any kind of real size. Yeah. When you put that together, I think we're going to be pretty fun. When you look at each of them individually, I think Gardner coming from Tab a couple years ago, he went being from a guy known as a shooter to now more of a complete guard who can do more things. And great case that motor doesn't stop for that guy and then Brown I think he's shot the ball better he's looking in an open setting like this his skill level and athleticism is starting to pop a little bit yeah St Styles is a complete player now he, he had to play point guard this whole tournament because our point guards out uh, with uh, pulled teeth but uh, he, he's a complete player. Trayvon Gray's the MVP of this tournament. Motor never stops. I haven't seen, I'm being honest with you, in two years, I haven't seen a team stop Trayvon Gray. Uh, and Chris Brown is a big time player who's learning how to play offensively with not forcing it. So yeah. now he's letting the game come to him. And, and with our team, when you look, say, oh, he had 10, he had 12, he had 10. We may not have a 20 point guy, yeah. but we've got talent all over the floor that we really, really can use to be a, be a, a hard out for teams. Sure. Yeah, and in Brown's case, he's showing some moves you just can't teach. And a new guy in D'Angelo Waddington coming yep. in for you. I think he almost had a double-double tonight. He's got, still, he's, he's very raw still, but he's got a lot of potential raw, as well. Raw, but he's got a ton of potential. Yeah. And, you know, he, that kid is in the gym five times a week working out individually. He wants to get better. He wants to literally be the best. I mean, the first conversation I had, I said, what's your goal? He said, Coach, I, I want to play in the NBA. And, I mean, he's dead serious. Um, he changes a lot for us because that presence inside, blocking shots, rebounding, uh, he can score. Uh, we're looking for big things from him. Final one, I think it kind of typifies your weekend. You played some quality competitions, some close games, some big wins. You were up 14 this game and lost the lead. Maybe a year or two ago, these guys wouldn't have found a way to win this game, though there's a lot for you to kind of point to and say, we got to fix this. But yeah. you still found a way to win despite some yeah. mistakes, right? Yeah, we we, all, we would have crumbled probably a couple years ago because we, we wouldn't have had the number of leaders and the guys that have been here. We've played a lot of big games this summer. I think we finished the summer 26 and up. So we wow. played, we haven't lost, and we've been in a lot of these close games. So we lose a 14 point lead. Everybody's upset. I'm over there yelling. But at the same time, these guys have now been here before, and we what we want is for this to carry over to the season. They're used to you yelling out. Yeah, thank you. you, you, they are. Thank they you are. so much, and congrats on the championship. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah.